Developing now, police are investigating the deaths of two suspected thieves. They were electrocuted Monday morning. According to police, they were trespassing at the Georgia Power substation on Atlanta Highway. And that's where Channel 2's Elizabeth Rollins joins us now live. Elizabeth, employees say this has happened before. Yeah, in fact, there's a brewery just inside these windows here, so you can see just how close this brewery was to where this fire was very close. I spoke to a brewery employee who says this has actually happened before that someone has broken in and then been electrocuted. Gainesville police are investigating after two suspected thieves were electrocuted when they attempted to steal from a power substation. This happened early Monday morning on Atlanta Highway, right next to the Liquid Nation Brewery. We're just very saddened by the whole incident. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it affected us emotionally. The two suspects have been identified as 45-year-old Shane Long and 44-year-old Christopher Wood, both from Gainesville. Investigators say they brought their own tools and equipment to dismantle metal parts when something went wrong. One of these individuals was uh, located uh, at least uh, one or two stories up on top of this uh, electrical substation. Uh, one of the other individuals' uh, body was located uh, in uh, water below the electrical substation. Police say the thieves broke through the fence that surrounds the high voltage substation. And according to brewery employees, this wasn't the first time something like this happened. It's two individuals, one got electrocuted, the fire department responded. In fact, the same firemen responded to this incident. Investigators say the substation went up in flames around 2.48 in the morning, but firefighters had to wait on power crews to cut the electricity before they could safely tackle the blaze. We uh, always want to catch the criminal, uh, unfortunately just not this way. And in the last hour, I spoke to Georgia Power officials who confirmed that they do, in fact, provide power to uh, this substation, and they did help respond with first responders. But they tell me that this is not owned and operated by Georgia Power, which means that they aren't responsible for the safety and security of this particular substation. We're live in Hall County, Elizabeth Rollins, Channel 2 Action News.